what up what up Wimbush here and today i'm excited to give you guys a tour of my brand new desk that i just put together with all the accessories included so without further ado let's jump right into it now for 2023 i definitely wanted to start off brand new and fresh and with the new approach to my desk i definitely wanted to make it more minimalized but what i initially did was i took the mechanical legs off i attached it to this wood top right here which is way longer than my other desk but even though i have a bigger desk i still wanted to keep it as minimalized as possible and try to get out of the habit of being lazy and pulling stuff out only when i need it and with my motorized standing desk working as i need it the next step was to tackle the cable management now this is something that i've been terrible at in the past but with this hexcal studio this is going to be my main centerpiece for my desk right here because it's very sleek and looks unique and it's going to help with all my cable management if i open it up right here you can actually see it has a really big crevice that you could put like power blocks you can put all your cables in there and you see the grooves in the back you can actually slide in your cables in there and then only use the length of cable that you need and hide the rest within the Hexcal Studio. Now the Hexcal Studio doesn't only look good but it's fully functional too so I opted to get rid of the lamp that I had on my monitor in the past and I'm only going to use the Hexcal for my lighting underneath because it's going to give me optimal lighting with all the different combinations of light settings that we can have in there and with the eight power outlets there in the back depending on your situation it's going to alleviate the need for any type of power strip which is also going to help out with your cable management problems and when i say this thing is fully functional i'm not even lying like even on the left hand side it has a wireless charger so i can actually put my cell phone down and charge it whenever i'm working and even though i have my desk the way that i want it right now if i do want to add anything else to it it's as easy as i have my monitor here on the arm i could just lift it up and then the hex scale studio to slide the pieces in the back to lift it up open it up put whatever new cables or accessory wires that I want to have in there and then close it up and this is really easy to get to so I can't recommend this enough especially if you're really into a sleek design that's going to be fully functional for all your needs now of course I couldn't build a brand new desk without having a brand new computer built as well so that brings me to my custom one of one Wimbush edition Puget system now this beast has an AMD riser Threadripper 5995WX which is the brand new 64 core Threadripper from AMD so this thing's going to annihilate anything that I throw at it. Now for the GPU, I actually have the NVIDIA RTX 4090 that's going to have 24 gigabytes of VRAM in there, which I'm really excited about since I'm going to be testing this a lot with Unreal Engine 5. And then for the RAM, I have 128 gigs inside the system, so I have no problems at all when I'm working in programs like After Effects. And then on top of it, I have a couple of M.2 SSD drives, but I do have a NOS drive to put all my different assets and all my project files on. Then to top it all off, of course we have the custom embroidered Wimbush edition YouTube logo right there on the front of the machine. So you definitely want to keep my YouTube channel on lock as I'll be doing a complete breakdown of the system in all its glory as I do benchmarking and even show some of my client work running on this machine. Now in the past, I've had two workstations set up. So I have my main workstation here and then behind me, I also have a desk that I was using strictly for audio production. And I don't want to juggle between two different systems. And whenever I'm ready to pull it out, as we were saying before about cable management, I have it inside the little holes there in the back and I'm able just to bring out the USB cord plug it in as I'm ready to use it. And then when I'm done, I'm able to put it back right into the drawer. Now this alluded to when I was saying that I don't wanna be lazy in 2023. So putting my stuff away whenever I'm done is gonna be a big part of that. And it's gonna to help to keep my desk clean as well. And another reason I wanted to consolidate everything is because I have these crazy Sonos speakers here that I got for a Christmas present last year. These things are professional monitors, so I should be using them a lot more. And so now I have them set up on my main system and I like having the ports here in the front on my speaker as well because even if i don't have my computers turned on and maybe i'm just jamming out since the video games back there i do like to listen to music so i can easily plug and play any device in there that i want so i can hook up my ipad listen to some tunes on there and even if i wanted to pull out maybe like a synthesizer like i have right here i can automatically just plug that right in and get to jamming out immediately <laughs> So having a lot of versatile options is very important to me inside my new desk build here. I do like everything wired. So I do have my Wacom tablet here that I use for work and it does have wireless functionality, but I like to plug it in and just have it wired in because it has to charge anyway. So why not just leave it all plugged in? I'm not gonna have any latency and no wireless issues there. And also with my SpaceX mouse, I have my 3D connection mouse right here. It has wireless capabilities as well, but I opted to leave it plugged in again because I don't want any latency issues in there. 
and it's going to have to charge anyway if it's wireless so i just figured why not just leave it plugged in now i know a lot of people have also asked me what's my youtube situation like so my camera right here in front of me i'm using the black magic pocket 4k and i opted to do a dyi system here where i just got like some random parts and i actually have it always permanently in this spot right here so when i'm ready to record a tutorial i'm just ready to go and then i have a light over here and over here they're just generic lights that i got off of amazon and then for my microphone of course i have the shore mic because it was good enough for the thriller album so i'm pretty sure it's good enough for my youtube channel and i have that all connected to my dynamite equalizer that i have pushed into my focus right box that usb connects right to my pc now in the past i had like this huge ring light that was actually right above my camera there it's very ugly and it was generic like i got off of amazon for a couple of bucks but for this build, I actually opted to get this Logitech light right here. Like it's not as bright, but it gets the job done. And I just wanted something that was a little bit more minimal on my setup. I wish this gets the job done perfectly. And you can see the unique setup that I have on my desk here when it comes to my mouse pad situation. I do have a mouse pad underneath that is super long, but I did come across this Mario Kart mouse pad that I liked that I saw five below for a couple of bucks. And so since I'm a big Mario Kart fan, I had to get it. And since it's not as long, I just kind of threw it on on top of my old mouse pad there but i'm probably going to clean up this situation here in the future but for now i definitely love this mario kart mouse pad that i have on my desk so that's going to do it from my ultimate desk tour hopefully you guys got inspired and have some ideas for your own setup as well this is something i'm going to keep building upon as i come across more and more ideas maybe on youtube or online i'm definitely going to evolve this setup so maybe in another six to seven months i'll do an updated tour as i'm actually working on my backspace here as well you can see i have some wood panels up in which i'm going to cover the entire wall but that's going to be for another video so once again my name is jonathan wimbush and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i catch you guys in the next video i see you soon take care